So I wake up this morning, guys, and I decided, you know what? Hey, my Hurricanes had a great day yesterday. They beat the number two team in the country in Duke. So, you know what? Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's the update. So I sit in my chair, right? I'm looking at my computer, looking at my um, looking at the games or whatever, the schedule and all of that. And um, yeah, next game is against Florida State. That's on um the 11th. That's the day after the national championship for college football. So basically 11, 8 o'clock up there in um up there in Tallahassee. It's a home game for them. But ESPN, y'all trying to shit out of us, man. I listen, I know y'all don't like us. I know, I know, y'all don't like us. But look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Normally I'll just make this video, edit, and put all this stuff on there for you guys to see. But I can't make this shit up, man. I can't make it up. Miami is 5-0 and in conference. Miami is 13 and, and 3, number one in the ACC, just knocked off the number two team in the country. And Duke beat them 76 to 74. We knocked off the number one team in the country. Now you got a Florida State team here who is sitting at 8 and 5, um, 2 and 2 in conference. But yet, just because they're at home, we were only a 26.3% favorite to win this game. Florida State is a 73.7 chance of beating us in this game. Come on, guys. ESPN, I know y'all don't like us. I know y'all don't like the chains and the rings and all that. But come on, man. Seriously? Seriously? That's what we're doing? Is this what we're doing now? Seriously? Come on, man. Stop. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. What are you waiting for? Go Hammer King. <laughs> Man, so, um, yeah, lately I've been making a lot of the videos outside, you know, sitting out here, you know, catching some, some fresh air, you know, enjoying the sun a little bit, you know, you can see the little glare somewhere up in here. Um, yeah, man, I'm in South Florida. Now, I've been seeing a lot of the country that's been under snow, you know, that's tough. Now, somebody want to um, step on the gas on their vehicle or a bike or whatever. You know how it is in South Florida. There's always that person with that Honda that steps on the gas, makes a lot of noise, and went absolutely nowhere. That's probably what that was. But anyways, um, yesterday, All-American game went down. Cyrus Moss committed to the University of Miami. We got him. Um, Mario Cristobal put in the work. We got him. Let's get to work. Um, you see... Um, Joe Salave, you know, hit the boom. Let's go. All right. Let's get to work. You know, he's going to be one of your students. So it is what it is. Now, basketball wise, was a phenomenal day for the Hurricanes. We beat Duke. We beat number two Duke. And then, boom. Right now, I'm waiting to see the rankings to see if Miami's going to jump in that top um, 25. We should. I mean, right now, we're on a nine game win streak, 5 0 in ACC. And, you know, we're doing great. We're doing good. We do have Florida State on the 11th. I, th I think we'll win that game. It is that, um, up in there in Tallahassee, but it is what it is. Um, now, I do think um, recruiting is not finished, guys. Um, there's a lot of guys that's going to be here in the at the University of Miami on the 14th, the 15th. A lot of those guys are making their, their visit. I'm talking about transfer portal guys. And, you know, a couple other guys that wants to make some official visit. Harold... Um, Perkins, five-star linebacker, um, committed to Texas verbally, Texas A&M that is. Um, he should be making a visit. A couple more. I know another name just reared his head, um, a cornerback by the name of um, DJ James. So he should be making his visit here also. Um, DJ James um, is from Oregon, you know, up there in Mario Cristobal's old job. So He'll make a visit to Miami on the 14th also, so that might be another cornerback. You know, um, Tariq Stevenson, um, a lot of you guys was asking about him. Would he come back? Um, from what I'm hearing so far, he will return in the 2022 season. So we will have a little bit of depth in um, the corner position. Um, linebacker position, I think we'll try to get somebody out the um, portal or something like that. Or, you know, we got quite a few guys 
candidates for the um, transfer portal. We do have some hurricanes that might hit the transfer portal right now. Names have not been released, but I'm pretty sure in the next upcoming days, you'll start seeing a lot of these guys hit the transfer portal. Um, guys that have hit the transfer portal so far. Um, Mark Pope went to Jackson State. Um, Louisville took um, D. Wiggins. Um, who else? Who else? Um, did we lose him? Jeremiah Payton, we lost him. I forgot where he's going. I think it's Alabama A&M, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if I am wrong on that one, somebody correct me. Um, so that's three wide receivers already. Um, Corey Gaynor, the center, went to North Carolina. Um, who else? Who else? There's, there's some more. Um, can't quite get them off the top of my head right now. I do expect some more to um, hit a transfer port. I'm not quite sure um, if a receiver like um, like Worsham is um, – I'm gonna still be here, you know. What do you hit the transport of? What do you go? Um, you know, guys that don't fit the scheme. We already see um, Nasty Nesta hit the transporter. Don't know where he's well, where he's gonna end up. But I am here in Jackson State. You know, name is being brought up for him. Um, man, Jackson State is on a roll, ain't they, guys? They just picked up the uh, one under the num the well. They picked up the number one guy in the country, and Travis Hunter. And then they picked up um, Corey, not Corey, um, <laughs> they picked up Kevin Coleman yesterday. And I think they took a, um, an offensive tackle from the University of Florida. So <laughs> Dion ain't playing fair out here. I uh, forgot the, the, I think it's Gardner. Gardner, the guy from Florida, the University of Florida. He was committed to Florida and ended up um, going to Jackson State. So we'll see how that turned out, man. Um, yeah, football. Football is gonna be turned up for the next um couple weeks. Um, Miami's got an elite prospect day coming up on the twenty second. As you guys know, tomorrow the national championship. Um, more coaches should be um officially named soon. Um, waiting on Kevin Smith to be um official. I, I do think he'll be the running back coach. Um, waiting on the two offensive coordinators. Um, linebacker coach and so forth to be named um, or official because we do uh, listen I don't want to talk about no sources and anything like that because if some of these names don't pinned out you guys will come back and kill T2I I thought you heard some sources who do <laughs> like share subscribe man I'm out hit the like button subscribe to the channel what are you waiting for? Go hammer keys. Oh my god!